too. So one of the two readings today might resonate in your situation. Also, the zodiac signs are different in both videos. So just pick what is yours. Welcome back. Happy Mother's Day as well. Also to the dads out there. Um, our community here on YouTube, like everyone who's a reader, everybody who uh, does, you know, extra focuses on Zodiac or into astrology. It's a huge community, by the way. And then there's big wigs. You have your next tier level, like Autistic Mystic, and then you have Minnow Pond, the OGs. Um, I kind of feel like this is a day that's rather celebratory because everybody has something to offer amongst their talents. Also, if you read at home and you are a tarot reader, um, I hope that you share your gifts in the future with us because even tarot readers need tarot readers. <laughs> so I just wanted to share that. Welcome to the channel again. I want to give you guys all a big hug. Thank you for supporting the channel for the last year of its birth. Uh, Libra Light started off as wanting to just help people in relationships in a solo effort people to realize their dreams finally um so thank you for keeping me like pbs uh still here for you okay and uh we're gonna start to have different readings um not everyone will be the same there's gonna be a different focus in the next coming week so i hope you stay tuned because a lot of you are showing some new energy so in the recent past here you have a page of swords you have the strength card you have the devil capricorn energy and I'm going to say the signs uh, for some of you who have forgotten. And we have the Ten of Swords. Okay, so in the past, there's a lot of hurt here. There's a lot of toxicities too. And I love to do past, present, future because you get to see a window of where you came from. And then you can improve, right? I mean, these are the best types of readings, I think. Past, present, future, PPF. So the Page of Swords person um, in our last readings, just as a review, was somebody who definitely loved you in the past had a really close relationship to you, but I feel like there was a falling off of the cliff here with the two of you. And the strength card, I think, is Spirit's advice, always coming in and saving you at the very end, maybe from poss possibly making worse decisions uh, according to your situation, and maybe even saving you from making decisions that would have put you in a new rut, so to speak. So I love this review portion. Um, Ten of Swords, again, I think that you overcame the betrayal as the bigger person, okay, you stood up for yourself. Uh, we did have a lot of justice energy a couple of weeks ago. We also have the devil here to clarify that this person was not meant to be in your life. They could have been a Capricorn as a coincidence here. We also have the Ten of Swords with Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have the Strength card, a Leo. And we have the Page of Swords, again, Libra, Aquarian, and Gemini energy. So let's check what's going on in the current. And Spirit, I also sage this in the Mermaid Oracle today, so they have new energy of blessings. Um, let's see here, who was the Page of Swords in the past? Can you give me information, please, on the Page of Swords? Maybe even their Zodiac, and what was their intentions? Thank you. Intentions to my right. I'll remember that. They could have been an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a Cancer, another Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Again, Fire Family. They could have been a Page of Wands. I feel like that's kind of the energy that they tried to bring you, okay? Page of Swords in the past was very busy manifesting the relationship back together as the magician. They could be a Gemini or Virgo also with that card, okay? That's Gemini, Virgo. I see here with all the cards, they were very anxious. There's the Nine of Swords, very anxious to come forward. For a lot of you, you never received contact again, okay? It was a closed book. You have a little unsettling energies with that Libra because you're a diplomat. You like things to be fair. You like things to be even. And I feel like this person didn't give you that even payout in the end. But that's okay because I see a little karma here working. Okay, live. <laughs> we do see the Four of Cups and this is part of that karma. I think that they are in general... Uh, dismay over the situation between you two, especially on a day like this where it's Mother's Day and maybe you two were lovers. It's something like that here. And we also have the Eight of Wands. They tried to message or they did message you. A lot of you got contact and maybe half of you remained in that gray zone with them. Okay, so that is basically clarifying the past here. I'd like to get just a little bit more out. If walls could talk, what would they say to Libra using tarot, okay? If walls could talk, what would they say today? If they were to come forward and maybe ring Libra's doorbell, thank you, thank you. All right, angels are working hard. So they'd like to say that they're aware that they lost you. <laughs> um, they're, they're aware here that you're gone, that there's no going back. For some of you, you have 
definitely close the door on this, okay? A lot of you are nodding your head too. We do see the Seven of Swords. They do want to have, um, I don't I don't see here get back energy, you know, to get back at you. What I see here is they're watching you and they will be willing to watch you for future occurrences, okay? Who comes into your life? And that's, I find this funny because they could have just easily talked to the Libra and had a mature conversation between adults. Um, or maybe you were the adult Libra, you're the only adult here. So we see that there was a chance. We do see the Four of Cups is that maybe window of opportunity sliding in the recent past. Okay, so for some of you that just need to hear the closure and, and have that in your heart, these cards are talking. Okay, there's a lot of loss here, Five of Pentacles. Um, we also see an emperor who maybe was controlling or tried to control you in the situation. But I feel like for now, the energy is going to be hiding away. Okay, retrograde is turning direct today, actually. So that's why I think you're getting a lot of new cards, new energy. Let's see here. Um, what's the Seven of Swords and who are these people? Thank you. We have a High Priestess here, a Pisces, possibly Libra, you are dealing with. They are also very intuitive. Maybe naturally, like maybe they don't read cards like you do at home. No, I'm just kidding. We have High Priestess. That could also be you. We have the Six of Cups and we have the Six of Swords. A lot of people want to generally heal a rift or a bind that they had with you in the past. Some of this is family, okay? Six of Swords is coming in today as like a family member, somebody who still needs to talk to you, maybe even check up on you, okay? And vice versa. Maybe you need to check up on them. There's something here about knowing something that happened, Libra. You you know what happened between you and another person. And maybe you feel like they're clueless in a situation where they should have just been up front with you and vocalized. Um, here, maybe that they could have just... What I'm getting is it's really hard to explain because this person is almost moving back and forth with their mind, but they do want to speak to you about something very particular. It's a detail. Okay, the Six of Cups can be missing you too, missing what you had. For some of you, it's like a female energy. If you had a best friend here where you had a falling out, they also miss you. Okay, there's a little bit of feminine energy coming in your reading with the High Priestess. So let's see here what else is going on. What is the other message for Libra in reading too? Thank you. Your message is somebody wants to return generosity to you. Six of Pentacles, they'd like to give back in any way possible. This can be coming in as an apology. It could be coming in as a gift. Sometimes the Six of Pentacles is a gift. And just to show you that they care, okay? For some of you, this is even your own mother, all right? So let's see what else is happening here in your reading. Thank you, the star upright, the hermit upright. Why do I feel like there's a star amongst us on this channel? That's just fine being alone. You're just cool being alone. We have the star and we have the hanged man. This is future energy coming up. So in the next two days, two weeks, you're going to be the star. You're also going to be the hermit as well. And the hermit is somebody who thinks and is very deep into their introspective path. Virgo, you could be a Libra Virgo, okay? However, which way? It could be on your Venus, it could be your rising, it could even be your moon. We do have the hanged man energy and it is in its upright position and something is calling you to rethink an event, okay? Between you and another person, Libra. They could even be an Aquarian. Um, I, I kind of feel like here you're asked to just restock something that you are ready and willing to let go of. It's just a minor detail, okay? And then put it away, put it away. It's something that you really need to put to rest because I think a lot of you are going to be severely turning a new leaf in your life things are already starting to look different in your readings okay i take it very seriously because for many months some of these cards they stay the same um, and you're showing me brand new energy in your latest readings it's quite impressive i'm very proud of all of you especially for those of you that chose a new romantic and financial decision for your life i feel like the new decision is looking like it's going to be uh, not only opportunity filled, but it's also going to make you extremely happy. Ace of Pentacles just happened to be at the bottom of the deck there. Thank you guys. I hope you loved your message today. Happy Mother's Day. And I will see you in our this week's videos. There will be four uploads in entirety this week. Thank you guys.